It's Friday. You know what that means. All right. Today we're talking about Daria. This is kind of a request because people requested it after I reviewed, or not, what even are these? After I did videos on King of the Hill and Beavis and Butthead, people were like, yo, you should do Daria. Another Mike Judge show. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't remember anything from this show. I remembered watching it. I remembered watching it and that was about it. So I went back and I was like, you know what? People want me to do a video on it. So I'm gonna go back and watch the show. I'm like, holy shit, this show is way better than I remember. I mean, I remembered it being good, but I was like, wow, this show is really good. So for those of you who don't know, Daria originally was a character in Beavis and Butthead, but then upon whatever reasoning, Mike Judge was like, hey, let's make a show about this character specifically. So she moved away from the hellhole that was being inhabited by Beavis and Butthead and moved into a new place. She goes to a new school and she... There was actually a joke when Beavis and Butthead made their return in 2011 where they were like, yeah, didn't that Daria girl die? And then Butthead was like, no idiot, she just moved. And that's what happened. And that's what this show is about. Now, here's what I have to say about this show. This show was a of its time. This show is a satire on reality. It takes everything to the extreme in a way that's so well executed that it's become timeless. It's something that's still relevant today. This is a show from like the early 90s. And yet, still, some of the stereotypes that we see, still here, haven't gone anywhere. This is, of course, like a coming-of-age show, and it takes a very cynical, but very real approach to everything that happens. For example, there's a episode where Daria's trying to get into college. Well, not get into college, but get a scholarship for college, because, as we know in reality, college is expensive. People can't, usually can't afford college. So, her parents are like, yo, you should look for scholarships. As parents do, as they realize college is expensive. Like, really expensive. And it's just gotten more expensive. And in this episode, Daria struggles because she realizes, hey, you know, I want this scholarship because I kind of need this scholarship. I don't really have a choice in the matter. But in order to get this scholarship, I have to compromise who I am. I have to compromise my honesty. I need to lie about the type of person I am. I have to prepare these stock answers to stock questions. In fact, I think that's exactly how they word it in the episode. She has to put on an act. And, in fact, I tackled this in the original Let's Talk, which was basically what Discussivation Time is now. For those of you who haven't watched Discussivation Time, you know, that's there. And I did a video where I basically said, all you need to know about growing up is you just need to lie. Just lie about everything. Lie about who you are, lie about what you do, lie about what you're capable of, package yourself in a way that makes you look good, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the most accurate representation of who you are. And that's what Daria is struggling with, and that's what a lot of people struggle with, which is clearly people requested this, and I know that there are plenty of people out there who really like this show, and I believe that's probably why. It's probably because this show is real. It doesn't lie to you. It doesn't say, yeah, you know, everything's gonna be all right. It says, hey, everything sucks. Like these people, they kind of suck. But it also takes a approach of like, yo, we're all in this together. You know, despite the type of person you are, you still have to deal with all the problems that other people have to deal with. It doesn't take just one perspective. In fact, something this show does very well is parallel storytelling. You know, there can be like three, four, or five different stories going on in one episode because it's not afraid to show Hey, you know, we have Daria here, who is kind of a pessimist, you know, kind of an angsty teenager, but we also have her sister, we have her friends, we have her dad, we have her mom. We have all these different people, all these different kinds of people, and they all have their own experience. Daria and her sister, though they are basically foils of each other, they're both in high school. They both have to deal with the high school social hierarchy that's kind of bullshit. Daria's aunt comes over, and her mom and her aunt hate each other. You know, her dad, her sister, and her all have to deal with that. And we see the different ways that they deal with that. You know, this show isn't afraid to say, hey, you know what, we all exist. 
We're not the only people in the world. I know sometimes we like to think, I'm the only person that matters, but that's not true, you know? You have so many different people in the world. You have all these different people who exist in the world. In fact, the premise of the show comes about from the idea. You have a show about Beavis and Butthead, where these are just immature, stupid, sex- I already said this in the Beavis and Butthead video, but you get the idea. You know, you have Beavis and Butthead, and then you have Daria, who's a totally different character, and you give her an entire show. It's all in the same universe, but this is an entirely new show. It's completely different, the tone is totally different, and it's a completely different commentary on the way things are. Like I said, I didn't remember anything from this show. I just remembered, yeah, I, I enjoyed it when I watched it years ago, but this show is actually one of the best shows I think I've ever watched. It does what it sets out to do so well. I know a lot of people probably haven't seen it. I'm telling you right now, this is a genuinely really good show. And if you haven't watched it yet, then I suggest you watch it. And, uh, that's all I have to say.